All right, we're going to look at uh, reflection notes today. So reflection notes. So again, I'm going to go to GeoGebra Classic. Make sure it's the classic version. Click on that. Got it highlighted. Um, don't pick this one. Some of these are kind of weird. They, they look a little bit different, but go to just the straight up GeoGebra Classic. And she's going to open up and make sure your grid's on here. And so for a reflection, um, the, the things that we're really interested in are reflecting over the x-axis, the y-axis, and then there's two lines in particular, y equals x and y equals negative x. So I think I'm going to do two separate um, two separate files in this video. Uh, otherwise, you just get too many reflections on the same screen. So here we go. I'm going to pick my triangle like normal. And let's put it in quadrant one. So maybe I'll put a point here. You don't have to do my points exactly. You can kind of pick wherever you want. So I'm building that one in. And let's go to, and I've kind of found a little bit faster way to doing these, these values and labels. So I'm going to do control, click on all the corners. And now when I right click, instead of hitting show label, I'm going to just go to settings and do the show label and the value all at once. It's just a few less clicks, kind of learning my way around, finding some shortcuts, which is always my way in life is do things and keep trying to do it until you find faster and better ways. Well, so now I have my shape, I have my object, and I think I'm going to actually put the title of these notes on here somewhere. So these are reflections, and we'll kind of slap that, I don't know, over here somewhere. Maybe I could put it, cancel, maybe I could put that up a little way so it's kind of towards the top of the sheet, out of our way. Well, first, let's look at reflecting over the y-axis, right? I want to reflect over the y-axis. I'm actually going to label this. We haven't really done this before, but I'm going to label this one as the pre-image, the before picture. So I have a pre-image. Let's just put that right on top of here. And why don't we change this color? I'm going to make my pre-image something different so it stands out. Um, I'm going to right-click on that and go to Settings. And let's just change this color to, I don't know, we'll start off a darker gray. So the pre-image is going to be darker gray. The other ones will be a different color. Now, to make this thing reflect, so I want to reflect over a line is what we're going to do today. And the first line I'm going to pick is the y-axis. So I need to make a line on the y-axis. Um, and actually, I might not even have to make a line, but let's just practice doing it. So I'm going to do a point. And I'm going to kind of click two points. doesn't matter where they are, anywhere on there. And then I'm going to go over to the line. And let's just click these two points. Boom. And it just added a line there. You can see it's a little bit darker. So now I have something I can reflect over. I don't think I really had to do it because it was an axis, but I just wanted to show you how to do it in general. So let's reflect this thing. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to reflect over a line. I need to choose the object and then the line. So here's the object. Here's the line. Boom. It reflected and folded right over for me. So what I've done is I've created a reflection across the y-axis. So let me get this out of the way. And we are going to label this as the image. So I'm going to go up here, text box. Just click wherever. And this is now the image. Um, and this is a reflection over the y-axis. I'll show you why I'm spacing down. I'm hitting enter to try to shorten this up a little bit. So maybe it'll fit a little bit better inside of there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't look so good sitting inside of there. Not too bad, though. So that's a ref image reflection over the y-axis. And I could also make my rule... Let's just go ahead and do our rule. So we'll do another text box. And i got to look at the coordinates to see what happens here. But my rule says that x, comma, y is going to go up here, get my arrow icon I like, maps to, and now we got to kind of figure out where it maps to. Well, this x... It looks like the X stayed in the same spot, but it became negative. 
So I have a negative x. And my y, my height did not change. I was at 1 before, and I'm still at 1. So the y didn't do anything. So it looks like we have xy becomes the opposite of xy. And I'm going to have to move it up, hit OK. And this is the rule. And I don't know, maybe this would look better if I uh, cancel. Maybe it will look better if I just grab this and put it up here. So here's an image reflection over the y-axis. Um, and you don't have to do this, but I'm just thinking, hey, maybe I want to just do this. And then I'll, I'll make a new text box and just put image. And I'll put that inside there. And now maybe let's make this color something a little bit more, a little bit different so it stands out. I'm going to go settings and I don't know, whatever color you want. I'm going to go red. Sweet. So there we go. We've got a reflection over the y-axis. Well, now what happens if I want to reflect it over the x-axis? So that means this pre-image is going to fold or jump down over the, the uh, x-axis. So I'm not going to create the points this time. I'm going to see if it'll just let me do it. So reflect over the line. We're going to reflect this person over this line. Huh, cool, it did it for me. So I didn't have to worry about, about um, there not being a line there. I guess they kind of treat it as a line. So let's kind of move this up. Maybe I'll shrink it down a little bit. And so now I have a new, some new points here. Kind of spread out. Get them to where I can see them somewhat. Well, now let's put our new rule down here. So we have another, another image. Um, so maybe I'll just do a quick text box. And I'll just type another image. The after, not the before. And for this one, this is a reflection over the x axis. And I found that you can't hit enter. If you hit enter, it's not going to let you do that neat arrow tool. So I'm going to hit space. I just kind of played around and figured this out. But I'm going to hit space and I'm going to go x comma y. And now it's going to let me do my fancy arrow. Fancy arrow. I don't know why it doesn't do it when you hit return, but it doesn't let me. And I'm going to do, well, what happens? i got to look and see what just happened. So let's pick a point like C. It looks like my X stayed the exact same. So my X did nothing. It remained the same. But my Y went from a positive 3 to a negative 3. So i got negative Y chilling right here. Okay. Bam. So now i got my rule. And I don't know, man, it made it all spaced out, but who cares? I guess I could have did two separate text boxes if I wanted it to be stacked on top of each other. So however you want, if you want to go back and tighten that up, whatever. But so now we have um, a reflection over the y-axis. We have a reflection over the x-axis. And so since we got a lot on here, I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to go up here to save. And I'm going to save this as reflection over the axis. Um, maybe I could put x and y axis maybe over the x and y axis. I'm going to go ahead and hit save um, because I want to do two more reflections, but the screen is going to get way too cluttered. So let's go to a new sketch. I already saved that. Let's go to a new one so we're nice and fresh. And... What I want to try here, something a little bit different, is we need to graph the line y equals x. And from algebra, y equals x is the line where it's like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. It's just 45 degree line. So I'm going to click on the graphing key. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just type in y equals x. And it draws the line for me. All right. So I can now get rid of this keyboard. And I'm going to kind of hover over this, and I don't really need you as much anymore. But I want to, I want to make my, my shape jump across this line. So, for instance, I'm going to start my triangle. And this is going to go pretty quick. I'm not going to take forever on this one. But let's just pick some points. I don't know, maybe there, 
and maybe something like right here. And I'm going to hit control and select all of those. So select, 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 and let's go to our settings and show the value. So I want those ordered pairs. So now they're all in there. And let's see what happens when we reflect it over the line y equals x. There should be some sort of a rule that I can use, hopefully, that will work for me. So let's do our reflection tool. Reflect this guy over this line. Boom. And there it is. Now you got all this weird stuff building over here. Don't sweat it. Um, it's not that big a deal. Just kind of want to focus on the coordinates really more than anything here. So we just reflected over the line y equals x. And I can kind of see something going on here. So let me put it in my text box. Let's kind of highlight what's going on. So it looks like um, our x comma y, x comma y, maps to or becomes, well, let's just try to make this out. So it looks like B went from 4, 3, and then it just reversed to 3, 4. So maybe it's just as easy as, you know, they reverse. Let's check another coordinate just to be sure. 9, negative 2, traded places, negative 2, 9. So it's pretty much as simple as those two just change direction. So I think this is the rule for when you reflect reflection over the line y equals x. Boom. So I've just kind of just kind of highlighted, you know, or made up a rule over what happens when you reflect over that line. And we can save this one. We're going to save. We're going to do reflection <clears throat> over the line y equals x. Hit save. And I want to do one more, because this is the other one that I see tested sometimes. Um, so we're going to do one more new sketch. And this one we're going to do over the line y equals negative x. y equals negative x. So it's basically the 45 degree line coming from the other way. So it's, it's here. So again, I'm going to pick some other triangle. And let's just go bam, bam. Uh, maybe a long skinny one way down there. So I have that going on. Let me get my values. So control, boom, boom, boom. Settings, name and value. Get rid of that. And there we go. And now let's reflect it and let's see what happens to our coordinates. So I pick, just kind of click off here somewhere. I want to reflect about a line, this shape, this line. <clears throat> Boom, there we go. It jumped down there on the bottom. And again, remember, if I grab this and I move it somewhere, it should, you know, even if I cross itself, that's kind of crazy, it's going to reflect all the way across. So there we go. Let's kind of highlight what just happened. So text box. Let's see, looks like an XY becomes, well, let's try to see what happened. Let's pick a point. I don't know what point we want. Um, we're going to maybe look at our A's. <clears throat> so the hard part about a point like 1, 1 is I don't know if they traded places. I definitely know something changed, but I don't know if they traded places. So I'm going to go up and pick somebody like 3, 5. 3, 5, it looks like 3, 5 came down here and became negative 5, negative 3. So it looks like not only did they trade places, but they actually both became opposites. So this is a opposite y, opposite x rule. And this was a reflection over the line y equals x. And we're going to save it, and this is going to wrap it up for us, man. So we're going to file save, reflection 
over the line y equals negative x. And it looks like my I didn't put negative x in there. So I need to go and I need to alter that a little bit. Sweet. Boom. There you go. So now we should have, I guess I better resave this now. Uh, but we now should have a bunch of good stuff. So when I go to open and I look at what's in my files, I got the y equals negative x. Uh, looks like I have two y equals negative x. Looks like it resaved. Oh, reflection over x and y axis. Reflection over y equals negative x. Reflection over y equals x. So there are three note slash assignments for today. See you.